Say you wanna leave me when you come right back. He asked me nothing crazy as you. No, I don't think so. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> All right. Has singing always been a thing? Um, and when did it become serious? Um, at first I started writing. I was a writer first and then I just started singing because I played piano and shit, so yeah, I probably started singing when I was like ten, eleven. All right, so you dropped three seventeen last year. Mhm. Mm and you got three seventeen row it coming. What is the importance of these dates? Well, I only made it three seventeen because I want everybody to know my birthday, and it's just that's just my my time to drop my music. Nobody else's time. And what you have learned from life so far, what is one piece of advice you would give a young woman? Um, to have the confidence in yourself. Like, you shouldn't get it from nobody else. It should come from yourself. Because then, otherwise, you're going to be looking for other people's approval. And you don't need that. Right. So, what's different from 317 and 317 year old? It's just better. I'm just coming better. I want it to be like, I want people to see the improvement from the first one to the second one. When 317 dropped, what was the, like, that one line from your project that everybody quoted or somebody said to you, like, people said to you multiple times when they seen you? Why you want to leave me when you come right back? <laughs> people say that all the time. How do you know when you're ready to put together a project? I don't. I just keep writing and then it just accumulates. And then, because I could have dropped something else, but I just been lazy. But 317 is the day where I'm dropping stuff, regardless. All right, give me three items that have to be in the studio while you're recording. My phone, Lacey, and... I don't know. My phone, Lacey, and a good producer. What? was your favorite song to create? Off 317? Mm-hmm. Mm, I would say My Zone. Just because it's upbeat. And, you know, like, females always write about, like, guys and being sad about stuff. Or relationships, and it's not talking about that. It's more upbeat. What corny thing or something you think is corny, but you love it? Instagram. <laughs> Why do you think Instagram corny? Because I be doing too much on there, and I be corny with it. And people corny on there, but I'm addicted. Have you ever thought about collabing with um, any other female artists? <laughs> Asia Karen. Um... Like famous or just like local? Either one. Yeah. Janae Aiko, that's my idol. Fantasia, like, I don't know all that. From A to B, wide range. So if you and Asia Corrine was to link up and do a song, what would, what would y'all want it to be about? What would you want it to be about? Anything. For stuff, something that's like significant in both of us, so it could be like a banger. And relatable to everybody else. <laughs> you a why, hater. <laughs> why do you love Baltimore so much? Oh, why do you think I love Baltimore so much? I mean, it's cool. <laughs> they know how to dance, make good music. Um, <laughs> have you done a lot of performances? Before? Um, no, not, I mean, I perform on my birthday, probably like a total of like five times, but like, I still got a lot to learn, because as far as like performance quality and confidence and stuff like that. How did you prepare for any of those performances? I just kind of wing it, I am just going to be honest with you. I practice sometimes, but... Yeah, I just wing it. Okay, so 
doing these performances, you reach out to the people or people reach out to you? Kind of both. It goes both ways. I more so have to reach out to them because they don't know necessarily who I am. So, yeah. But, like, when they start vibing off it, it's just kind of like a both ways thing. So, how big are you planning on getting? I want a big platform because it's not my only mission. Like, I want to, you know, speak up about human rights, Black Lives Matter, stuff like that. Wait, are we going to get more videos for this project? I'm actually planning on dropping a video the same day I drop my album or mixtape, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I'll probably, yeah, I just haven't decided, like, which songs I'm going to do a video to yet besides the one I want to drop on my birthday. On average, how many hours are you in the studio? Mm, like a week or like a month? So, all right, like a day, like you just go in there one day, how on average? Probably like two hours. Like, I don't like to do like long sessions just because they're expensive. And plus, my attention span, like, is short. When writing a song, would you rather like tell a story or just like freestyle? The, not actually like doing freestyling, but like whatever vibe come off, you just gonna go off that. Mm, both. Like all of my songs be like real life experiences, so I'm really talking about something that happened. So sometimes it be a story, and then sometimes it just be like a generalization, so other people can relate more. What's up, y'all? It's Nye. We just wrapped up an interview with Orange Pop. Follow me at underscore Muchi underscore on Instagram. We out. I feel awkward doing this. Why? I don't know. Alright. Oh, you gotta do that again. The whole thing? Mm -hmm. What's up, y'all? It's Nye. Um, fuck. Just wrapped up an interview with Orange Pop. Follow me at. What's my shit? <laughs> I don't wanna do my social medias because it's different on every.